Hey guys, it's me again, Shannon, in case you forgot the name. Um, this time I'm here to talk about the book Pedagogy for the Oppressed and the movie City of God that we watched in class and we are supposed to address what principles do we did we read about in the book did we see present in the movie. And the book talked a lot about oppression and dehumanization. And I think one thing that we see present in the book and the movie is the um the yearn for power. Or I could use the banking system as an example. Um the teachers will of course be the most powerful person in that situation to the peers and in the movie the gang members are more powerful in the slums because obviously people are scared of them due to their vi the violent outbursts they have and their lack of caring about others lives and in some ways you can also relate that to teachers because you know most teachers just show up to class to teach and that's it they have no caring as to what's going on with the students what their life is about and stuff like that and i think that power is very um present in both the book and the movie in the sense that when you're sitting in the classroom and the teacher is just feeding you information you know the teacher is the one that's teaching you're supposed to listen they're the one that's right you're wrong you know they're above you in some ways and this can not only apply to the African American community but just anyone in general no one wants to feel like they're being belittled you know when you're in a, when people can't express their thoughts or show their intelligence and they're not even being considered in the education process they feel out of place or even different or alienated from the people they're surrounded by and no one wants to feel that way no one wants to just feel like an object and i think that people when people feel like that they yearn to be surrounded by people or in a society where they feel powerful or validated or important and what we see in the movie is that we have all these teenagers who are yearning for power you know the the power, the yearn for power, from um even Lil Z affects just about all the kids in the neighborhood. Um, you know, it brings you to this whole idea as to why it's so important to young males to feel powerful. And then when they don't feel powerful, they resort to this real violent behavior, which we see a lot in the movie. You know, whenever Little Z, whenever Little Z didn't get his way, he would just like kill somebody right there, point blank. And that was it, you know. And when... In a real life situation, you know, most people join gangs. In gangs, when you hear the word gang, the first thing that pops up in your head is, is violence. You know? So I think what we see present in both the movie and the book is the yearn for power and how the yearn for it can cause a very negative effect on an individual or even on a society as a whole.